I mean, haha! He's actually weaker now that you, that you expose him for some reason. Like, he was level 6 when in the beginning of the map there, but now he's level 4. I don't know what the hell was up with that, but who cares. Let's use Light Tom, just so I can have both quotes. General Jared! Your occupation army has caused untold suffering to the people of Dane. The time has come! You must atone for your deeds! As if I should care one whit about the wretched worms I trample! Okay, here we've lived long enough, douchebag. Battle of Pride for one last time! This is the last time Battle of Pride plays in part one. Stressing light. Let's get him from afar. I see you're pretty impressed with yourself! You think the likes of you could be what you wanted from me? No, please. No, no, no. That's not how this fight went. J Jared? What the hell are you doing here? I'm showing your silly viewers what really happened in this fight. I see you're pretty impressed with yourself. Bombs away! You must be kidding! For the Black Man to fall like this! How could a noble like that be such a warrior? Ah, I love my tentacle nuke. What the hell was that? And why did Mikhail look different there? The magic destruction of my tactical nuke. Jared, you have two seconds to get out of here or else. Or else you'll do what, you overgrown buffoon? Hey! That's my tactical nuke! Yes, it's a very nice steel brain man. Give back my tactical nuke. Desist or I'll sell this lance for forging points. But there are no forging points in this version of the game. Exactly. I'm glad to see things my way. Now back to the real fight. This guy's done. Ah, <laughs> uh, but Battle of Pride! Make your peace with the bow in your end. <laughs> How kind of you. Caught you! I'm alive? Uh, whoa! Alder, you... Why are you here? I had a friend beside my general and they created a with the other soldiers. You idiot! Who asked you to join me? General Jared, you are a terror work under. Even so, I've always sensed the kindred spirit in you. I will follow you and fight for you, to the very gates of the abyss. He was a good soldier. Fa! What now? Why don't you kill me? You've got to be kidding! Stop! Stop it, both of you! A man has started protecting you! Don't waste his sacrifice! This is not the end. No, it's not. He is not ours to judge. He belongs to the Apostle now. I suppose you must bury his fallen friend and pray before facing her. You honestly believe that, Mickey? You have my thanks for saving me. Micaiah, are you safe? You, Micaiah, run! Saw, that's okay! This man, this knight just saved my life! What? Micaiah, do you know who this is? Everybody knows who he is, Saw. He's the Black Knight, one of the four riders in the King Ashnard, and the strongest swordsman. Exactly. The scum that General Ike defeated in Neo's castle in Crimea three years ago. So how can he be here now? Alive? What do you want? Sov, General Jared was here a moment ago. If the Black Knight hadn't stepped in, Jared would have killed me. What? But I don't see his corpse here. That means he's still alive, isn't he? Yes. There was another soldier who sacrificed his life protecting Jared. I presume Jared is burying him now. Oh, oh no! What is it? I, sense, I see a dark cloud. It's dimming by the, the light of hope. 
By letting Jared go, I may have allowed something terrible to happen. You weren't sure? So I hadn't told you, but I haven't been feeling well lately. My mind feels foggy. Things I could always see clearly are now dim and vague. I may have committed us to an irreversible fate. I shall be Mikai okay, and I don't want your help. Saw, stop that! In King Ashnard's war, you served below General Ike, and you and the Black Knight were enemies! But now, you are comrades with the same goal Dean's restoration! Hold on a second. I need to drink some orange juice. Listen to me! The Black Knight was Dean's strongest general. We need him! Sir Knight, now you should come to us now. It's surely the will of the goddess. I thank you for you and I thank you for your ages now. It asks you to lend your sister string a while longer. My sword is well. I don't like this. I don't like this either, Sav. I really don't like this. But I suppose we'll have to treat it as a sign of God. Whatever. This chapter's done. Now what? We let Jared go. A figure from Dayan's past appears unexpectedly in the night. A figure thought to have perished in the Mad King's War. The blood-stained right hand of the king himself. The mysterious Black Knight. Yeah. Sworn I killed him. The Black Knight protects Micaiah against Jared's cowardly surprise attack. However, Micaiah senses that Jared has one last move to make. Deprived of his chance to capture Micaiah, Jared abandons all notions of retreat or negotiation. Instead, he makes plans for revenge. Uh oh. He murders an emissary from his homeland of Benyon and reclaims control of Dayan Keep. Whoa! From within the keep, he launches a savage barrage of catapult fire, all but destroying the castle town. Whoa! The momentary peace that arrived with the Benyon Emissary shatters along with Navasa's walls, and the people of the city see their kin and their capital crushed under a rain of stone. God damn! This treachery proves too much for them, and their grief explodes into rage. Not now, phone. Micaiah and company have pitched camp on a nearby hillside. When this merciless attack begins, its brutality leaves them lost for words. So it looks like Jared, Jared played his douche card. Bastard. Endgame! Dean, arise! So this is the final chapter of part one. Meanwhile, Navasa, the Dane capital. Big Neon's attacking Navasa! No! My parents live there! They're far too old and frail to defend themselves! My wife and kids are there too! It's a heartless murderer! Jared! He just wants to suffer to the bitter end! Oh, unbelievable. Prince Pelias, we have to do something! We must liberate Navas and save the people from this brutal attack! Is it no end to your lunacy? The Apostles' envoy is nearly here! Why are you rash when victory is so close? People are dying, and Navas has already suffered more than enough. Do you really expect us not to lift a finger to help? If you will not help, we will go by ourselves. Again! Wait! Why are you going? You can't take the Lagoos and rush off to some hair brain mission again! Can't I? Of course not, you idiot girl! You've already been far too impulsive, acting with the prince's consent. And you think I do not see what has happened? Your name has been raised to lavish heights among the Dane people. Your name, and yours alone? Why, even your own soldiers heap their praise on you like sugar on berries, sparing another thought for their prince. The, the prince. prince, he's a sham, a trap, a clot of mud, no amount of politics can shine. The real jewel, whose rage attracts people like moths to flame, is you, priestess. And so I shall seal you and extinguish day of life hope. Gotta like what they did there, having using the battle models to depict that uh, flashback there. Very nice touch, I gotta admit. And then, even once the rightful king is crowned, the people will still await the approval of their precious priests of dawn! Why, if you're not careful, some calculating wretches might decide they were out to see a priest on their throne instead of a king! Once again, this country will be torn apart, all because of your glory-hunting disregard for a prince's command! Please, Izuka. 
Hunter Thicket! From Sir Priestess has been here has been planning this all along! Pretending to be held the prince, when until she seeks to wear the crown herself! Stop your tongue, worm, or my knife will stop it for you. The only one who seems too hungry for power here is you. That's enough! Izuka, Mikaya does not deserve any attack on her character. She is pure and noble, and I... I am inadequate. I love this theme! Sorrowful Prince Peleus is probably one of my favorite themes in the whole game. Probably in the series. It's just so epic. Hi, Rashi! Poison your mind too, my prince! Since we met, Mikaya has led every battle, even joining the soldiers on the battlefield. Not so with me. I cannot defend my people. How could our people not rally around her? They see her fighting, throwing her lot with their own. They respect her. That said, things cannot remain as they are. Izuku is right to worry about my standing. I need to earn my people's respect. Therefore, therefore I must take action. Looks like Peleus has something planned. Where are the soldiers? Um... Soldiers of the Liberation Army, heed me- heed my- No, no, hear my words! I am Peleus, true Prince of Dane! Yes, we know who you are, my lord. We ought to by now. And so, uh... So... Uh... Is he... alright? He must be nervous like hell. Poor guy. Prince? Hmm? Mr. Knight? Oh, and when the Black Knight slams his sword down, slams his sword down like that, he demands fucking attention. And so, and so, beloved friends and comrades, dear, with thanks to you, our capital lies close. And if we do not act, if we turn back, the war still ends with us, the victors proud, and Dane's rule still falls back to our hands. And if we choose to fight and free this town, we may enrage the empire once again. Thus Dane's fortune turns sorrow swift. But while I speak, Navasa's hardship grows. Our brothers suffer, our sisters die, and... I shall not. I... I cannot ignore this tragedy. No man can, and certainly no prince. I cannot look away when my people suffer. And so I ask, I ask you all, please, will you join me? Whoa. Where did that come from? So, uh... And you gonna stand to support Prince Peleus here? Hey, there's one! Hey! Yeah, yeah! Long live the Prince! Long live Prince Peleus! Long live Dane! It's time to save our country! Oh, yeah! I like this now! Ah. Good job, Peleus! You rallied the troops' morale! You deserve a cookie! 